speaking for myself and my own experience, and I've got a lot of people in the expanded access program and I did the phase three trials. This is, this is a superior drug for Dravet syndrome. I mean, the, the seizure reductions I'm seeing, especially with convulsive seizures in these kids, is, is as significant as the phase three data you know, would tell you. I've got, I've got one kid, he's been seizure free for now two years since he started the drug. Uh, which is, I mean, like unheard of, you know, in Dravet syndrome. I've got a lot that are having, you know, may have had one or two in a span of, of years. It's just, it's a big, big difference. Obviously not everyone's going to respond to it, which is why we continue to test new drugs. But of all the things I've seen, it, it's, it's really one of the most exciting uh, treatments that I've encountered so far. I wish, I wish we could say more. This, this abstract was only built on the first 23, which we had you know, a limited info at that time to be able to collect. We had like three months worth of stuff. So you know, there's a lot of stuff that I've, I've asked them to look at, specifically myoclonic and absence type seizures, which are seizure types that are often just kind of excluded from these phase three trials because they're really hard to count. And they'll be hard to count here too, but just you know, some feedback on, on how the drug does. Um, a little more feedback on how much have we been able to get rid of other meds. You know, I mean, I've got, I've got kids that are down to basically, basically what is a minuscule and probably non-therapeutic dose of one med because I have to have them on something, you know, that's FDA approved. Um, but they've been able to get off of, you know, everything, you know, all these other meds. And those are, I think those are the kind of the exciting things. The seizure reduction is awesome. Uh, but it also allows you to start simplifying these regimens uh, and get them down to fewer drugs, which is going to obviously have a big impact on, uh, you know, you would think cognition and behavior and sleep and all these kinds of things when we get the, all this polypharmacy out of the way.